सब्सक्राइब कीजिए धे आई चैनल को और बेल आइकन को दबाइए लेटेस्ट वीडियो सबसे पहले देखने के लिए all are aware of the water crisis faced by a lot of people each year water is the basic necessity for life on earth the crisis for water can be very problematic recently maharashtra government announced the setting up of a desalination plant in mumbai this will help to reduce the risk of water scarcity in the state with this announcement mumbai became the fourth state in the country to experiment with the desalination idea in today's edition of our dns we will be understanding about desalination its need and its feasibility according to the B- BMC's projection the population of Mumbai is expected to touch 1.72 crore by the year 2041 and accordingly the water demand will also increase the city's water problems are on the rise owing to increasing population seeing this maharashtra chief minister on monday has given the green signal for the project the project is proposed to be set up on 25 to 30 acres and it will take about 2 and a half or 3 years to complete the expected cost is around rupees 1600 crore now let us know what is desalination and what happens at the desalination plant desalination is a technique that takes the salt out from the water making it drinkable desalination work takes place in a desalination plant basically salt water is turned into water that is fit to drink in the desalination plant the most commonly used technology for the process is reverse osmosis in this process an external pressure is applied to push solvents from an area of high solute concentration to an area of low solute concentration through a membrane the microscopic pores in the membranes let the water molecules through but leave salt and most other impurities behind releasing clean water from the other side the desalination plants are mostly set up in areas that have access to water and desalination has been mostly limited to wealthy countries of the middle east most recently this technique is being adopted in parts of australia and the united states now if we talk about india in india tamil nadu had introduced this technology the two plants supply 100 million liters a day each to chennai and two more plants are expected to be set up in chennai as well apart from tamil nadu gujarat has also announced to set up a plant at the joria coast in jamnagar district proposals to set up desalination plants in dwarka kach dahej somnath bhavnagar are also there andhra pradesh is also looking forward to set up a plant of desalination now moving further let us know about the benefits of desalination water desalination plants provide drinking water in areas where no natural supply of potable water exists some of the caribbean islands get almost of their drinking water through desalination plants and if we talk about saudi arabia it also gets a huge percentage of its fresh water via this process even in countries where fresh water is plentiful desalination plants can provide water to the dry higher areas or in times of drought desalinized water can usually meet or surpass standards of water quality as well and water desalination plants water desalination plants can also reduce pressure on fresh water supplies that come from areas that need protecting by treating ocean water some important fresh water bodies can also be preserved now lastly let us know is it ecologically safe or not setting up and running a desalination plant is very costly this is the reason why the maharashtra government has over the last decade been hesitant in building such a plant desalination is an expensive way of generating drinking water because it requires a high amount of energy the other problem is the disposal of the by product highly concentrated brine of the desalination process while in most places brine is pumped back into the sea there have been rising complaints that it ends up severely damaging the local ecology around the plant 